Hi, this is Paul with PicoPros.com and today we're doing a review of the AXA M1 Ultimate X that retails for about 249 US dollars and offers 75 lumens of output with SVGA resolution which is 800 by 600. This unit, as you can see from our unboxing video, is very small, very compact, very well made. Uh, it has an aluminum uh, housing has multitude of inputs uh, for VGA, composite video, these kinds of things. So check out that unboxing video for the full details of the unit. It's a really nice unit and for only 249 US dollars, a really, uh, really good value it looks like in this space. Again, it's, it, it's about the size of your palm. Uh, it's lightweight, yet it's rugged enough to put in your bag, not have to worry about it getting scratched up. Uh, this is an L-Cost based projector with LED light source. Um, really nice unit and so we're going to do a review of it today with a couple videos just give you an idea how it performs uh, in person so actually uh, it's pretty unique right now we're actually doing a live Ustream from our Pico Pro site so this is the first time we're actually doing that live so it, it was kind of ad hoc meaning we didn't really give anybody heads up but hopefully a few people get to see the review live while we're actually taping it for the website. So it's really interesting. Uh, hopefully I don't get distracted one way or the other, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. So the first thing I want to do is actually show you on the top of the unit, there's a menu, a touch sensitive menu. I, I, I don't think that shows up on the camera. Let me see if I can angle down so you can see these uh, LEDs or, well, it's backlit touch sensitive display. So let me get the camera back in the right spot for you. But those touch sensitive buttons uh, allow you to navigate different menus. So I can show you the main menu looks like this. Just let me angle it up just a tad more. So there you go. Here's the main menu where you could do things like uh, set up the unit. Uh, USB connection, the SD memory card slot. It does have a, it comes with a two gigabyte uh, SD memory card, as well as you could do the VGA input or the AV input or composite video input, as well as a, a, again a USB device. Let me just rotate that like that. So today we're actually going to use my iPod Touch second generation as the video source. So I'm going to navigate down to AV input. And right now it says no signal. But what I'm going to do is actually fire up. I'm going to fire up Astro Boy. We've shown this once or twice before. So here you go. And we're projecting a 50 inch diagonal image from 80 inches away. So it's 1.6 to 1 throw ratio. So you can see this is the intro, the, the embedded speaker in the unit is real nice. So hopefully this is showing up on the webcam. Right now I'm mostly concerned about doing the right video for the website, but I wanted to try something new with the Ustream feed. And so on my LCD, right now the colors, even in person, are kind of muted. So I'm actually going to, oh, there you go, there's some colors. So you can see the blues show up real nice. Most of this video right now is uh, yellowish green. And there you go, there's some blues. This is a really good video for showing some nice colors. And so again, producing a 50 inch diagonal image from this very tiny unit looks really good. The sound is nice. Uh, it does have an internal fan blowing. Uh, it is audible, but the speaker is able to overcome that. It's really, really nice. Let me fast forward through the video, see if I could get some other colors. What just happened? 
So here you go. So the contrast on this is pretty nice. So I, uh, when I first set the unit up, I actually found the focus. It does, it does require focus because it is LED based. So I found the focus without too much trouble. It has a nice focus knob on there. Uh, very firm focus knob. So once you find the focus, it's not going to change on you. Uh, so nice focus. So let me try. Um, we've done this movie a bunch of times, but the colors demand that we do it again. So here's the movie Cars. And you can see here the image looks sharp, crisp colors. The reds look really deep, saturated, real nice. This is definitely the type of unit that you can use in your den. Definitely portable enough to bring to an office setting or a coffee shop if you need to give a presentation. Um, given its uh, lumen output, it can definitely handle some ambient light, and I'll show you right now. So I turned on a pretty bright light for this room, and you can definitely see the image. Colors look real nice, even in ambient light. Okay, so this is Paul again with PicoPros.com, looking at the AXA M1 Ultimate X. Uh, we signed off real quick just to take a look at the volume adjustment, and uh, it took about five minutes there or so to try to figure out the volume adjustment and honestly I couldn't figure it out right away so I just disconnected the sound inputs on the composite video so that would be my one gripe with this unit is that it's not intuitive to adjust the volume it could be a very simple procedure I just could not figure it out right away that said the video quality is really nice on this unit especially considering it's only 249 US dollars and again the resolution looks real good hooks up to the iPod uh, that I'm using right now just fine. I had a little issue with my own uh, software on the iPod, but uh, that's neither here nor there. It works really nice. So I'm going to do one last video. We looked at it too already. I'm actually going to use the, again, the composite video for my iPod. So I'm going to go to AVN. There we go. Let's go. Big fingers apparently. Okay, AVN. It's going to say no signal, but I'm going to pull up a cartoon that my son likes called Special Agent Oso. And that, now we have no sound because I disconnected the audio on this. But uh, you can see the greens and the purples and the blues look real nice. So again, this is an animated cartoon looks real nice the contrast looks good you can see the black there with the white real nice real nice unit and again for only 249 US dollars at SVGA resolution which is 800 by 600 a multitude of inputs VGA composite USB uh, internal memory of 2 gigs and it comes with that uh, flash SD memory card it comes with a tripod mount on the bottom of the unit really nice rugged small unit that you could take around very impressive unit. Very impressive unit. And so we're going to do a full write-up of this. Again, check out the unboxing video on Pico Pros as well. And we'll link to that in the article. Uh, but overall, this is a really nice value for only 249 US dollars. So I'm going to leave it there, and we'll check in soon with you. Again, this is Paul with PicoPros.com looking at the AXA M1 Ultimate X uh, that retails for 249 US dollars. Thanks.